Hi guys, welcome back to Julia's Knits. I apologize for being away for so long. I unfortunately had COVID for the past two weeks. Um, it was horrible in summary and now I'm back. So hello. So today it's just gonna be a simple chatty vlog um, of me showing you what I have been up to knitting wise, of course. Um, in the past two weeks since I've had COVID, I had a lot of downtime in my isolation period to do a lot of knitting. <laughs> um, and so I'd like to show that to you guys today, what I've um, finished and what I'm currently working on. Today is a lot of accessories, so that's really fun. Let me show you the pile I have. So, are you ready? Okay, so this isn't everything I have made in the past two weeks. Um, it's more things that I've finished in the last two weeks. There are some projects that I've also started and finished in the last two weeks. Trust me, I don't knit this fast. So let's start with things I had already started before um, the last two weeks and had finally finished. So, I guess the first thing, or <laughs> the longest thing that was on my needles that I was very slowly slogging away at was this. Ta-da! It looks kind of wonky because I haven't really blocked it, but it's a sock! <laughs> and it's only one sock. Um, I'm currently doing the second sock. Here's the second sock. Um, it's in this gorgeous yarn from um, this brand called Manos del Uruguay. Um, it's the superwash merino. I think it's 75% superwash merino and 25% polyamide um, And it's the in the color pindo and it's just this beautiful um, You know blues greens yellows purples it has amazing colors throughout the whole uh, knit and so I had finally finished the first sock <laughs> finally um, it's in fingering weight, so it's taking a very long time, and it's also in the largest size, because I'm not knitting this for myself, I'm actually knitting this for a certain someone. Um, but this has taken me ages to finish. Um, I think I started this in December last year, and so one sock effectively took me five months to complete. <laughs> so that's not looking good for the second sock. Um, but I have tried to push my way through the second sock. Um, so this, this is the progress I've done in the last two weeks. So I think that's pretty good. <laughs> so this was a free pattern that I had knitted up. It's called the Simple Skype Socks by Adrian Koo and you can find it on Ravelry. Um, it's a really gorgeous pattern because of these little zigzags that you can see here in between the um, knit stitches um, with some purl stitches to separate those sections. So it's really, really cute and, you know, it's a bit more, I guess, unique than just kind of normal ribbing down a sock. So the next um, thing took quite a while to knit up as well. So it's these things, um, but guess what? It's in a different color. <laughs> These are the pair of mittens I knitted up. So these are not mismatched um, unintentionally. <laughs> These are supposed to be intentional. Um, let me try and wear them on. Just so you, can, you guys can see what it looks like. This is what it is. They're very, very cute. This is uh, a pattern I followed on Ravelry. It's free. I'll link it down below um, But it's the world's simplest mittens. That's what it's called and I just knitted them in these three color blocks um, This is inspired like this kind of colorway was inspired by Petite Knit her North Sea mittens more specifically But I really like them. I think I'll wear them a lot when um, winter rolls around here in Sydney um, and you know if I ever go anywhere where there's snow, I guess this will be nice too. Ah! Now the next thing that I had finished is also another pair of um, gloves or mittens, but these are fingerless gloves. And we've got two of them, of course we do. And 
yeah, it's just it's just really cute. I knitted it in this very cream brownie yarn. Um, it's called the Wind Cries Merino, I think, by Abbey Road. Let me put them on so that you can see how it looks like. And here it is. So up close, that's how it looks like. This is another free pattern by Where Love Knits. You can find it on her website. Um, I'll again link it in link it in the description box below. But this um, fingerless glove pattern is also at the same time inspired by Petite Knits. Other pattern, um, the fingerless glove pattern, I'm not sure what it's called, I'll link it again down below, but that's a paid pattern. But I really tried to imitate the edging that is apparent on a uh, Petite Knits pattern because I thought it was beautiful. Okay, this is another thing I am really, really proud of. Uh, it's again another accessory. We're only showing accessories today, but guys, are you ready? Oh my god. If you don't know what this is, it's a balaclava. Um, specifically, it's balaclava number one from My Favorite Things Knitwear. So that's how you would wear it if my hand was my head. Um, I'm not going to put it on because I don't want to mess up my hair. <laughs> and it will look ridiculous with the outfit I'm wearing. It's really, really cute. It's going to be my go-to in the winter time. I have this really nice brown coat to pair it up with. It's like this long, um, oversized coat. And I can put this on top, wear a nice scarf, and we are ready for the winter time. <laughs> that was all the knits that I did for human beings. But the next one is not for a human being because it's for a dog. <laughs> so this looks very, very wonky, but it's another hat. Um, it's a hat for my greyhound. So this is supposed to be where her face goes in. This is the neck and <laughs> it's called a pixie hat because there's this long uh, tail with a pom pom on it. Oh my god, this pom-pom is amazing. So I knitted this and I made the pom-pom too uh, with a pom-pom maker, nothing special, but it's just really, really cute. I'll show you pictures of how my greyhound looks like with this on. It is simply adorable <laughs> and she's gonna be hating me when it comes. Uh, she's gonna be hating me when winter comes because I'm just gonna put this on her all the time. <laughs> That completes all the knits I have for, for you guys today that I've finished in the past two weeks. I have one additional thing that I'd like to show you, but it's not knitting related. Um, it's actually a sewing project, um, but it's this. Guess what it is? It's pretty big. Yep, you guessed it, it's a collar. So <laughs> that's where we put it, not on my head. Um, but. So I'll show you what it is. So this is an oversized collar by Rosary Apparel. I'll put her link down below, but it's a free pattern um, that you can follow to, to sew the oversized collar of your dreams. Um, I'm not wearing it that uh, correctly because that you can see my collar, but even like this, it's kind of cute. This took me half a day to make, a bit longer than I was expecting, <laughs> but I really am in love with the project, um, with the finished project. Um, I really love the ruffled lace detail on the edges, I really like the bow, I really like the cotton fabric that I picked that's a bit more thicker um, and just well suited for a collar instead of being very flimsy and cr crinkled. I really like it, but you know, my partner thinks I look like someone who came from Salem, um, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's take this off. 
So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, definitely check out my other videos if you enjoyed this kind of content. But yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!